Johnny here from WP Johnny again. And now I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the different WordPress commenting systems. So mainly we've got three choices. We have the uh, WordPress native comments. Okay, that means the native, uh, the native comment system that comes with WordPress. So here it is. I go to my site and this is what it looks like, right? It has the avatar, the name, the date. And then uh, depending on your theme, the, the replies can be threaded, you know, where like the, the, the replies are staggered in uh, with every single reply. They're, they're moved in a little bit to the side. Um, and then you have uh, Facebook comments. Okay, so I've got a page open right here. This is what it looks like. Um, again, th threaded replies. And of course, it connects to their Facebook account, uh, their Facebook accounts, and they comment. And then the last one, also very popular, is Discus. So this is what Discus looks like. You've seen it before. Um, and here we are. So, okay, so let's talk about the pros and cons of all of them and uh, why I think these are the top three. So um, let's go with Facebook comments. So what do I like about Facebook comments? I like the native Facebook commenting system for two main reasons. One is that it's fast because it's native. It doesn't have to load external scripts, external like JavaScript or anything from another site. It just loads right away. So if I refresh this page, boom, see, so, okay, there you go. So you, you couldn't even tell that I reloaded. So I'm gonna have to uh, show it to you again. And okay, the page is loaded and all the comments are on. So it's instant, right? Now let's do this one right here, this Facebook thing, it's a different page. Um, and okay, the page loads and you're gonna see the, the comment box. All right, well, this time around, I guess because it's cached on my browser, it didn't take as long. But when I first loaded it, the, the page loaded first and then we had a blank white space here and then Facebook comments loaded after. Same thing for Discus, I don't know, it might be fast this time, let's see. I refresh, okay, so you see how it took a little bit of loading time. Um, so Facebook comments is faster. I'm sorry, uh, WordPress native comments is faster. The second thing I like about the native WordPress comments is that it's private. So um, let me see, I hope I'm not logged in right now. Yeah, good, good, I'm not logged in. So you're not logged in, you're not connected to anything, you just put your name, your email, you can pick, put a pseudo name, um, you can put your website, promote yourself, and you leave a comment. So face, uh, the native WordPress comments is great if you're chatting about something that needs a lot of privacy, right? Um, somebody, uh, if you put Facebook comments on your site and someone doesn't want their, you know, they don't want you to track their comment back to their personal page, maybe because they're going to talk trash, or maybe it's just a, a sensitive material, right? Maybe it's a, a website about mental health issues or or some kind of you know personal information. So they might not want to fill that out because it's connected to their Facebook account, right? So the WordPress native comments is, uh, it's, very, it's very private, so I like that. Also good for um, if you have like maybe an older readership, you know, maybe like just older folks who don't have Facebook or maybe really young folks who don't have Facebook, uh, the native WordPress comment system is great for them as well. Um, there is one thing, people do say that uh, once you have like say 500 comments or so, then the speed starts to switch around. Because as you can see for Facebook, if you have 500 comments, it doesn't load all 500. I'm sure you've seen it. There's things that have like 10,000 comments. It loads a few and then you have to like click this to show more of the replies or you have to click to, sc to scroll more, you see? So that's very clever. Um, and it's true. Uh, okay, uh, Discus is the same way. You have to like expand. I think I, I've already expanded them right now. Um, there you go. Yeah, this, so you have to click that to load more comments. So WordPress, the native commenting system, doesn't do that unless you install a plugin. So then again, I mean, I guess you could just take that little, you know, that little factor out the window. Um, then there's also the Gravatar. People say these little Gravatar icons take longer to load. Uh, there's truth to that, but you can download plugins that'll cache the, the, the avatar or the gravatar, I should say, and then they don't take as long to load. They load instantly. Um, now let's move to Facebook comments, what I like about it. Okay, so the first thing I like about it is that it's very easy to engage, right? It's, you know, most people are on Facebook you know, even if only 25% of your users are on Facebook, right? 25% of your readers have Facebook, 
you might actually get more comments using Facebook. Why? Because Facebook will notify you when people reply to your comments, right? They'll let you know. They'll say, hey, somebody else commented on the same thing you commented on. Um, it's easier for you to track later on. Whereas if you use the WordPress native commenting system, uh, maybe they get an email, you know, uh, and maybe the email goes to spam. So they never know that someone replied. They don't know when, when, when uh, you know, somebody else is talking to them. So Facebook is very quick to go back and forth chats, uh, very efficient. And again, it's great because many people do use Facebook. They're already logged in. So it's great for that. There's one more benefit to Facebook that I really like. So um, I don't know if you're aware of like social shares. So you see here's a, here's a website that has like the share counts on the bottom. So these Facebook share counts, here's the cool thing. These share counts are not only for shares, they're also for likes and they're also for comments. So when somebody comments on your, your Facebook, on your post and they comment through the Facebook box, it counts towards a share count. That's really, really awesome. So 37 comments, that'll rack up as 37 share counts. So it, you know, it's a quick way to show um, social proof. It builds your social proof. And again, I really like that. Um, I do like the sort function. I do like that you know, it's very quick for people to comment and, and, and respond and it's threaded and all that. So it's great. Uh, the last one, Discus. Uh, so Discus is kind of like a, it's kind of like a mini social network built around commenting. So when you, you, know, you have to have a Discus account and then once you have it, all your, uh, you know, all the different things that you've commented on, they go to your account, right? And then they're sent their email to you. So you keep track of all the things that you've commented on. Um, it's really handy. You know, you, you can, uh, I've seen them where like they have different tabs here. You can sort, uh, I don't know, but this is what a rating system. That's really cool. Uh, you can, you know, log in as another user. And, and leave a comment. So, you know, you can have multiple comment users on Discus and that's really convenient. Same thing, it has a threaded option. You can vote up, vote down. So it's the most full feature. Uh, so, you know, and then it's like, like Facebook, uh, it doesn't load everything, it loads only, you know, the recent amounts. Now, what's the thing with Discus? For me, I feel like Discus is only used by like really tech savvy people, right? So other people who don't have a Discus account, they're gonna come on here uh, and, and you know, let me see if I can log out just so you guys can have an idea. Okay, there you go, I logged out. And the moment they try to do this, they, they might think of commenting and they go sign up with Discus or log in with, and right there, that's a little bit of friction and if this is not like a really tech savvy site or tech savvy audience, they might just quit. They, you know, the, the last thing they wanna do is create yet another login, another account to keep track of. Um, so there you go. Those are the pros and cons between the, the native WordPress comments, Facebook comments, Discus comments. You guys might have seen the other commenting systems like, uh, like Thrive comments. Okay, I don't know why people use this. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them with a passion. And uh, why? Because it's slow as heck. Uh, it's just not coded very well. It's not coded very cleanly. The moment you have tons of comments on your site, it's going to slow down your site. Okay, so just don't use it, don't even bother it. Um, and then there's other, there are other plugins as well. They tried to do like a rating system or they're using like custom post types to do like a special commenting system. I don't recommend that you use them because they just are not fast enough. So anyway, all up to you. Uh, give all these a try and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.